Hi everybody, it's Coach Ali and I want to welcome you to your Barbell Heat Ultimate Fat Burning Workout. All you need is a barbell and some clear space around you free from trip hazards. During this high paced workout you should burn around 500 calories every half an hour. So let's do this and let's get shredded together. Push up on the barbell with wide arms dropping your chest all the way down to the bar. Make sure you keep your wrists straight and protect your back by tucking your tailbone in. Using a round plate barbell forces you to use a bit more core strength to keep the bar nice and stable. To complement your push-ups, let's do a prone plank on your elbows. Again, make sure you keep your tailbone tucked in and don't dip your hips past a horizontal line. Your turn to try this combination. Start with close grip chest presses, lifting your head and shoulder blades to engage your core and protect your lower back. Keep your hands close together and make sure your elbows are tucked in by your ribs. Bent knees to support your supine posture and prevent your lower back from arching. For the cardio exercise, let's do some mountain climbers. You can do these on the barbell or grounded depending on how you feel about it. Round plates on a hard surface will give you some extra core engagement so that's always a bonus. Keep up the pace and make sure you maintain your core line. Have a go at this superset.
starting from prone plank, let's pick up one side of the barbell with your favorite hand. Get the rows all the way up to your ribs while maintaining your three point plank. Wider foot position will allow you to balance a little easier when you're pulling up your rows. To complement this, let's start with a prone plank on your elbows. Alternate side knee strikes outside of your elbows to engage your obliques. This is a great core combination, so let's get you guys to have a go. Barbell glutes bridge to get into your lower back, glutes and hamstrings. Start with your feet at shoulder width, pressing down onto your heels until your hips elevate all the way up. Your weight should be on your shoulder blades and your heels when you're at the top of the glutes bridge. Release until your tailbone touches the ground and then lift again. Let's move on to the anterior by turning around and getting into some rookie push-ups. Remember to maintain your core line and get nice and deep into these easier variation of push-ups. Good pace and clean form until we turn around and go back into the glutes bridge. Let's try this one together.
barbell piston row with your knees bent and your tailbone pushing out to prevent you from hunching your back and leaving the torsional load on your spine. These are fast paced rows with your elbows tucked in by your ribs. Let's try to use maximum range of motion. Our cardio exercise is X mountain climbers. Make sure that your knees are crossing your body, but let's stay solid static on the arms and upper body. This combination will definitely elevate your heart rate and burn a whole bunch of calories. Let's try it now. Let's take a quick drink break and rehydrate with some water. Guys, while you're rehydrating, I wanna take a quick second to tell you about my online PT program designed to get you in tip-top shape fast. I'll work with you on your nutrition and select your workout routines every week to help you meet your goals. Together we'll consider any restrictions, injuries or timelines and we'll use equipment that you have at home. What's more, I'll video chat with you every fortnight and answer all of your questions to ensure your results. You can do all of this from the comfort of your own home. Now if you're expecting this to cost you a fortune then you'll be pleasantly surprised. The first 100 applicants will pay only $2 a day which is less than a cup of coffee and you can cancel anytime. 
To learn more, go to jimroseberry.com.au slash online PT or click the link in the video description below. Okay guys, back to today's workout. Spider biceps curl by resting your elbows in front of your knees to mimic a preacher bench, helping isolate your biceps during your curls. Stay nice and heavy on your heels and try to keep the rest of your body static. For the cardio exercise, let's drop low and work side to side squats or side to side shuffles. The goal here is to keep up a good pace but maintain your height to keep the quads active during the whole set. Nice wide side to side motion with consistent tempo. Your turn. Start your upright rows with relatively narrow hand position and thumbs pointing at each other. Lift up leading with your elbows, pushing them out as you bring your hands towards your chin. Controlled motion, particularly on the release, is very important to prevent injuries. Keep your knees soft and make sure that your back is nice and neutral. For the cardio exercise, we're going to do some gentle burpees on the barbell. You can see that we're stepping into the burpees rather than jumping and also avoiding the jump at the top as well. This will keep your knees protected and it's a great burpee variation, particularly if you have bad knees or a bad back. Your turn to try this set.
Barbell rows starting from a bent over position with parallel legs and neutral spine. Row with your elbows tucked in by your ribs, bringing the bar all the way to your chest for good range of motion. Double jab for the cardio component of this set. Now this exercise is all about foot movement, so make sure that you move your feet as you throw your punches and switch sides quickly between each pair of jabs. Let's get you guys to try this combo. With a wide base, let's side bend into some oblique tilts. Keep the knees straight to keep the focus on your obliques and make sure there's no twisting motion. Alternate your tilts between lefts and rights. For cardio, let's do some high pace squats with alternating knee strikes on the way up. If you have bad knees and you can't do parallel leg squats, then you can always do these with wider feet and toes pointing out. Try to keep your vertical posture during your set. Your turn to have a go at this one.
barbell biceps curl with your elbows glued to your ribs, making sure there's no front back movement and keeping them tight by your sides. Curl full range of motion, making sure that your wrists remain straight and protected. Knees slightly bent and hips behind you will prevent pressure on your lower back. Your cardio exercise is fast feet. Just make sure that you're nice and light on the ball of your feet and lean forward ever so slightly to weigh yourself down. This will help you get some pace on your fast feet. Your turn to have a go at this set. Well done for getting through this challenging workout today, guys. Now let's turn our attention to Daphne for some post-workout static stretching. Standing hip width apart, clasp your hands together behind your back and extend your arms behind you. Lift your hands to the ceiling to stretch your chest and shoulders. Remember to keep your back straight and shoulders down away from the ears. Take three to five slow, deep breaths during the stretch. Take one arm and extend it across your body. Keeping the arm straight, gently pull your extended arm from above your elbow to deepen the stretch. Remember to draw the shoulders down away from your ears.
Now let's do the posterior shoulder stretch using the other arm. Extend one arm forward in front of you at shoulder height. Keep your extended arm straight and with your opposite hand, grab onto your fingers just above your palm. Pull your fingers back to fold at the wrist with your fingertips pointing up towards the ceiling. You should feel a stretch on the bottom of your forearm and wrist. Now let's do the wrist extension on the other side. Standing up tall, bring your right hand behind your back. Use your left hand to pull your right wrist across the body. Now let's do the supersprenator stretch on the other side. <laughs> 